one. Hi, this video is to help you to interpret heating curves and the role of thermal energy and phase energy. We just finished performing an experiment in which we heated solid ice to water boiling. When, the temp when we started, the temperature of the ice was zero degrees Celsius. We noticed the temperature remained constant even though both solid ice and liquid water appeared in our beaker. When all the solid was gone and all liquid was present, we noticed the temperature starting to increase from zero to 100 degrees Celsius. Just before 100 degrees Celsius, we see some bubbles of gas starting to form. Um, at 100 degrees Celsius, we noticed um, the temperature becoming constant as the liquid became a gas. So as we started this experiment, we started it at zero degrees C. But as you know, if you've ever been to Chicago, the temperatures can dip way below zero degrees Celsius. And in that case, you would have only solid water present. When the water is heated from below, 40, uh, below zero degrees Celsius, um, the thermal energy increases. Because as heat energy is added, the particles start moving faster. This is what increases the thermal energy and the temperature increases, as temperature is the measure of the thermal energy. At zero degrees Celsius, we notice that the temperature remains constant. Because the temperature remains constant, even though heat energy is added, the um, energy being used is used to turn the solid into a liquid. So the phase energy increases as the water turns from a solid to a liquid. But remember, the thermal energy remains constant because the energy added is being used to break the forces of attraction from the, between the solid particles in order to turn them into a liquid. Above zero degrees Celsius, we only have a liquid present. And as you notice, as heat energy is added, the, the thermal energy increases because the particles start moving faster. The temperature, which is a measure of the thermal energy, also increases. Once we get to 100 degrees Celsius and see bubbles of gas forming um, and hence the water boiling, once again, the temperature remains constant. This is because the added heat energy is used to turn the liquid particles into a gas and break those forces of attraction. So thermal energy remains constant, but phase energy increases as the liquid becomes a gas. If you can heat the liquid above the gas above 100 degrees Celsius, you will notice the thermal energy increases. This is where you have steam present. Um, and we can heat the, then the gas above 100 degrees Celsius. The particles of gas will move faster and the temperature of the gas will increase as well. I hope this helps you understand the interpretation of a heating curve and the role of heat, uh, thermal energy and phase energy. Thank you for watching.